You can't tell me that you're gonna be in a bad mood after a bike ride. What's up? What's happening, brother? Hey, y'all doing all right? You can hear the chain moving in that rhythm. You know what I mean? That's just ears, man. That click, 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 ugh. When you're in your, what I call the glass bubble. Whoa! You don't care about what's going on around you. You care about getting it from A to B. <laughs> when you're on a bike, that's when you get to take your jacket off and you get to feel the sun. And you get to deal with the dog that's chasing you. <laughs> Let go of everything. Soak up what's around you and allow your brain to go where it goes. And that's what I enjoy about biking, man. Connection to the real world. Minneapolis, they have a program. You ride a bike four times, you take it back after you've documented it, and they give you a brand new bike. I want that in Detroit. It's so weird how people want Detroit to just be shitty, and it's not. You guys have a light rail? You guys have a monorail? There's not somebody dead on the corner? I, I try to be involved in anything that I can in the city of Detroit that is pertinent to biking. We have bike lanes going in all over the city, but if I don't have a bike, it doesn't make sense to me why you would take my street away and turn it into a bike lane. Somebody has to close the gap between the people and bicycling. What we need to do is get a bike into the hands of everyone so they understand that all this is for everyone. You can't tell me we can't do it because people said I couldn't start a bike ride. I grew up in an era where crack was invented. I watched a city get ravaged by crime and drugs. Walking to school, sure, I got my jacket stolen a couple times. I had friends who definitely took the bad road. And I might have even taken the bad road a couple times. I could make up some hardship story, but I really grew up in like a house that my parents cared about everything that I did. They nurtured everything. They were always down for it. Through part of being the president of Slow Roll and Ride Detroit, a lot of the emails came to me. Two to three people said they do dialysis on Monday. If they don't keep moving, they actually get sick from the dialysis. So they do dialysis and then come on and ride. Two women met on Slow Roll. They're both widows. They started this group. Now it's up to 25. We had a girl who actually uh, got in a very bad car accident. She couldn't walk for three years. Last year, she got her movement back. Uh, a company bought her a bike. She went on TV and she said all she thought about was riding Slow Roll. Sorry, man. I mean, this is real, like. <laughs> There's no words that I can really put into, like, what it's done for me, what it's done for people, man, you know? I wish I could make this up, and like, but I mean, I'll be honest, man. This, when I talk about it, it's just overwhelming, man, really. I just remember, like, Thanks, brother. Whew. Being in meetings, I'm like, why am I even here? You know? And then I meet one person. And I'm like, oh, that's why I'm here. So I can meet this person and hear their story. You know? But I was supposed to meet that person, and we were supposed to change each other's lives. The bike has taught me is there's nothing you can't do. I mean, honestly where I am, just from pedaling, pedaling with people. Now, I have the ability to talk and change lives. I mean, the bike is my everything, really.
you talk about Detroit and you talk about Motown and everything that's sort of common, but then people don't talk about the creativity that goes into biking in Detroit. You're gonna see bikes with sound systems on them, you're gonna see bikes with bells. There's a guy riding and he's got a barbecue grill attached to the back of his bike and his girlfriend flipping burgers. And that sound right there, it's, it's strictly ours. I'm a black kid from Detroit, so I definitely grew up like looking at people in a certain way. But then all of a sudden, you're on a bike and you're changing tires with somebody and, and you forget all that. I never thought that's what this would do, is like give me a different perspective. It's not that I don't see color, but I see every color in a beautiful way now. It's amazing. So instead of riding our bike in a circle, let's go clean up a block. Or let's get together and go to a food bank and pack up some boxes. Show the world that we're not just bike riders, but we're a group of people that care. Let's go for a bike ride.